hello hello everybody happy friday happy friday okay hey y'all listen welcome back to another video the t on mpd and relationships family you know how we do it y'all you know how we do it listen um if you've been watching the content for any time and you enjoy what you <clears throat> you've been hearing listen hit that subscribe button hit that follow button and come follow me as we discover our destinies of course to my new subscribers and new followers hey family hey y'all welcome back okay welcome welcome and then to my tribe and, and family at large welcome back y'all thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value and something that i have to say i appreciate your time and you know what family if you like the content that i'm bringing to you why don't we let the youtube community know you can do that by simply hitting that like button it gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow so family you know we have our Thursday night live stream last night and it was powerful okay make sure you meet us every Thursday right here on the channel 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time listen I really honestly believe that it will bless your soul amen and also too um, uh, you know our goal of the day is 1.2k okay our goal of the day is 1.2k whenever I'm dropping videos y'all please help me out just hit that like button share the content with other people if you don't mind um somebody hit it for you hit it for somebody else okay so they can get this life changing sometimes life-saving information let's pay it forward okay family we, if we really want other others to be healed this is how we help them okay all right so thank you all so much for for all of you that rocks with your girl and you hit that like button video after video i appreciate you and listen and I want you to know that you are invaluable because that is what we do when when team players team up and we want to get a job done that's what we do we help each other out so thank you so much for that okay so let's jump into uh, the topic of this video okay the narcissist never saw it coming okay they didn't to be honest with you they never saw it coming now the reason i'm doing this video is because a lot of uh a lot of holiday hoovers went out a lot of people were actually discarded uh, during the holiday season um then some of you all probably met narcissists uh during the holiday season because they love 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 do you hear me to get active during the holiday season okay this this is what these birds do okay this is what they love so so what you had so I wanted to make this video because I wanted to help you understand something about the power that you actually hold all right um because sometimes I believe us as survivors we don't understand the power that we hold and so I want I want to I want to give you a little insight is that all right let me give you a little insight so when I say that they never saw it coming now the narcissist when you got into the, this relationship with this bird okay when you got into the relationship they knew at some point that there was going to be a beginning and they also knew that it was going to be an end okay they knew all of that okay because they, they, what you got to understand is they've been through this thing several times over you are not their first rodeo okay you're not their first one so they've been through it over and over now the thing about it is they know it's a beginning and end. They just want to be in control of it. Okay. I told y'all before, narcissists do not possess the ability of foresight. Okay. And that is synonymous with the entity that powers them. Okay. Which is a demonic entity. I said it. I did. I said it. Because you know, people have problems with me saying that y'all. They do. <laughs> people unsubscribe all the time because they don't want to they don't want to uh realize that they were actually with a demon okay well you just go right on ahead you know whatever however you want to do it people get mad sometimes they get the stunting in the, in the comment section that's you know it is what it is but the the satan does not lucifer well he's not lucifer anymore he's satan Okay? He doesn't have the ability of foresight and neither does his, does his demons. The only, the, only, the only spirit that could give you foresight is the Holy Spirit. Okay? 
the Holy Spirit. Be why? Because it's it's from it's from an omnipresent, omniscient God. Okay, meaning everywhere at the same time. Okay, He's all knowing. All right. So that's the only place that you will be able to obtain foresight is from the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now the enemy can look at your bloodline and determine by your bloodline and what and and the, the spirits attached to your bloodline based upon your what you doing today or your actions today and what he has afflicted your bloodline with what could happen to you in the future but that's based upon past information. Okay? But it's it, it's not a guarantee. The only one that can guarantee you that type of information is the Holy Spirit. And that's if you have a relationship with him. Okay? It's called discernment. Okay? It's it's called being able to discern, you know, what's what the intent, the heart of a person, or the heart of a man. Okay? And being able to look into a, a situation spiritually and see that, you know what, down the line, this is not going to be good for you. All right? So, let you know, now that I covered that, let me move on. Okay. So, now, now. They knew that it was going to be a, bit, a beginning and end. They wanted to control it. What they didn't see coming was the fact that you were going to completely disconnect and never come back. Okay? That's the part that they didn't plan on. That's what they did not plan on. And see, this is why when you this this is why when you do that, when you go no contact, Okay, this is why it's so important to stand your ground. When you go no contact, when you go blackout, when you go off the grid, because this is where you harness your power. This is where you flex your muscles. This is where you flex them. Okay, this is where you flex your muscles. Why? Because this right here is where you show forth your strength and it amplifies their weakness. Oh, that's good. Because, listen, they expect that you're going to leave. They know that they're going to come back in Hoover. And they expect that you are going to answer the Hoover. And when you don't, oh, that is a devastating, debilitating blow. That's when you show them, you know, listen, you don't know now. Okay? You listen, you didn't get the memo on me. You slap on me and and listen. So I'm getting ready to show you what time it really is. You understand what I'm saying? This is where you flex your muscle. This is where you flex your power. Is when you when you that narcissist, I'm telling you y'all, they don't ever see this coming. They don't. You know why? Because they're too stupid to see it coming. I told y'all before, they are selectively stupid and you got to be a special kind of crazy to sit up there and I mean, just really do people in and really just have all of this and that to say about a person and not expect for them to react or not expect for them to get tired of the abuse. You got to be a special kind of stupid. Okay, at some point, if you keep on kicking a dog or you keep pulling his tail, at some point, that dog is going to turn around and snap on your behind. Just wait. Keep on doing it. They never saw it coming. This is why you got to stand in your power and authority when you make a decision to leave these birds because you are stronger than they could ever be. Why? Because you have the ability to take accountability Okay, and that right there in itself will change your circumstance. Why? Because you you possess the ability to reevaluate your situation and change the way your the change your perspective on how you see it and the way that you think about it. See, a narcissist is one sided. Okay, they don't possess the ability to change their perspective. They don't possess the ability to change how they see things. They're gonna see it only black and white. They are ridiculous. I'm talking about some whole zebras with leopard spots, okay? They are they are ridiculous. And and then they want to make you think. And see, this is another thing. This is another thing right here. This is why they try to hoover uh they try to hoover you and tell you, "Oh, can we just be friends?" You know that type of trash. No, all they want to do is get back into your life because what they want to do is they want to finish you. 
okay? They want to go ahead and level you, is what they, I told y'all that before. So this is why they come up with all of these different Hoover attempts. You know, they Hoover you on the Cash App. Some of them Hoover you on the Venmo. They Hoover you uh, saying, uh, uh, saying somebody uh, somebody had a health issue or they had a health issue. Some are even lying and say somebody passed away and they didn't. Okay? they. I mean, they got all different kinds of ways that they want to get back into your life. It, it's because they never saw it coming. This is why when you get away from these hound dogs with long legs and giraffes with short ones doing some James Brown splits and cowboy hats. Okay. <laughs> You may, listen, you better stay away from them because I'm telling you to go back is going to be nothing but pure abuse and it's going to get worse. It's going to be the worst that you ever seen it. Listen, the Bible says that, listen, what a demon goes out of a man, he searches through the dry places, seeking another home. When he can't find one, he said, I'm going to go back to the home from where whence I came. Okay, and then when he go back to that home, he's going to bring demons seven times uh, greater than what he was. I, and, the, and the last state of the man was worse than the first. So that's what it is with narcissistic abuse. When you let these clowns come back into your life, when you let these bats and cowboy hats come back into your life, it's always worse. Why? Because the truth, the word is true to what it says, family. It is. It's true to what it says. But when I tell you, when you lay the smack down on these birds and you harness your power and you say, I'm not coming back and I won't take that abuse. The devil is a lie. I'm stronger than what you thought. Oh, you thought that my kindness was a weakness. I'm going to show you how weak I am. I'm going to show you how weak I am because see why you over there begging me to be friends and why you over there trying to get your messages to me through your flying monkeys. I'm going to be over here healing. Okay. I'm going to be over here healing and I'm going to be over here learning to love myself. I'm going to be over here learning to understand that, listen, you never loved me in the beginning. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't love myself, but that's different today. Oh, it's different today. Because see what you are, what you got to understand about you family is that you are the number one stunner. You are the one that shines bright. Okay. You are the one that brought light to the situation and life to the situation. Everything that a narcissist touches, touches, they kill it. It dies. Why? Because of the dark spirit that's inside of them. Harness your power. Know who you are. They never saw it coming and leave it like that. Leave it just like that. Listen, flex your power. Flex your muscles. Do what you were designed to do. That's lead by example. You don't need anybody like that in your life. That is nobody to set an example. Not even for your kids. Okay? When you, the people that you have in your life are a direct representation of you. Especially the ones that you choose to have there. Family members, you can't really do anything about that because these are family members. They just come, come into your life by default. But the people that you select to have in your circle are usually a direct representation of who you are on the inside. Shine. Shine from your circle in and out. Okay? Make sure that the people in your circle shine. Because you know how the enemy is. He loves to send you that friend that's just going to agree with every everything that you gotta that you want to do. That person is sent from the devil. If they're not trying to tell you how to do right and trying to encourage you to love yourself, that person is not sent by God. That's the devil. So reevaluate your circle too. I said it. Reevaluate your circle. Make sure the people that you got in your circle may understand the power and the authority that you walk in. They should be walking in the same thing. Self-love. Okay? All right, family. So I love you all. And listen, I want you all to have a beautiful weekend. Be safe out there. Make sure you take your safety precautions and measures to keep yourself well. Okay? I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you at the top. God bless you. And may he make his face to shine upon you, family. Shalom. Peace.